Okay, so let's get this started. Feeling good. Interrail is a trip you can make with the Interrail Pass. And what is an Interrail Pass? This pass allows you to travel across Europe by train, bus or boat. It's not all trains, boats or buses. They're like the specific list of transports that you can actually use with the Interrail Pass. How do you decide which type of pass is best for you? You should only count the days that you're thinking about traveling from one place to another. So if you want to travel for two weeks, like I did, I only used a pass for three days. Because what counts is the days that you are actually traveling in a train. Count how many days you are actually traveling, how many countries you want to see. The Interrail website actually helps you on that. Um, you choose the countries you want to go and how many days you're spending there. It just tells you which pass is best for you. One thing, the 7 p.m. rule. If today I got the train at 7 and traveled to Spain, because I'm in Portugal right now, um, and throughout the day I traveled to Paris, this wouldn't count as two days of travel, that, that would count as one day. In terms of money, I would say no. For you it's more important to actually see many cities, use like different transports, get a bus from one city to another and then if you want to go to another country get another bus or a flight because nowadays you have EasyJet, you have Ryanair it's actually cheaper to fly the cost of Interrail depends a lot on the experiences you want to do like visit museums, you want to ride a bike have a cruise trip in in a river um, I, don't, I don't know what you want to do but you are visiting cities and you're definitely going to do something there. You're going to visit museums, you're going to see a lot of places, you're going to have to travel and you're going to need to spend money because Interrail doesn't cover metros, doesn't cover trams and there are a lot of transports that you probably need to take and you're going to spend money on that. I try not to make many reservations and just see my options. Sometimes I bought flights and sometimes I bought bus tickets because it was much cheaper than actually doing the reservation. My Interrail pass was 168 euros plus 60, 68 euros plus 9 euros for them to actually send me the ticket because you have to pay that money, <laughs> they need to deliver you the ticket. It's not just the Interrail Pass, hostels and food. You're gonna need transport. You're gonna spend much more money on food than you think you are and doing stuff. You're gonna spend money on doing stuff. I traveled for two weeks. I visited one, two, three, four, five countries because at the end of the trip I went back to England and then to Portugal. Okay, so I visited. I actually traveled to the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, France, Italy and then England and they came back to Portugal. And my budget was 900 euros and I could definitely do it but remember things happen in trips, you might get sick, you might hurt yourself or things could happen like if you watch the Italy vlog you know, everything went wrong. With all the hostels and all the transports and all the food and all the travels, everything, everything cost me at the end 1,000 euros. Could have been 900. If you're not going to Disneyland and you want to do the same thing, 800. Um, actually, you could do it for less. Plan it with advance and you can do it for like 600 or 700. If you still don't want to spend that much money and you want to travel for two weeks, I would say go to the north of Europe and to the eastern part because it's cheaper there. How to use your Interrail pass when you're traveling. I was so nervous when I started traveling because I was like, how the f does he use this? Like, how does this work? Like, like usually you have actual pass. You just have to fill. 
the countries that you're going to and then the guy that worked in the train would look at this see my ID card see if it matched and then he would be like yeah fine have a nice trip and that's just it it's not hard but you definitely need to write it before the guy comes most of the trains you need to reserve your place so yeah you have to pay for that in most countries you can travel without reservations but instead of traveling from one place to another in two or three hours you actually take 12 to 30 hours or more we wanted to save time too so that would cost money you would need to reserve a train and the reservations were not cheap most of them were like 20 euros 10 to 20 euros would be the average like it doesn't seem like much but you usually take more than one train you take like two or three or four trains just to go from one country to another and if you are visiting many countries at the end you actually spend a lot of money just on reservations food I didn't eat all the time in supermarkets most of the time I did but I think I like I went to restaurants in every country. That's definitely more expensive than going to a supermarket and buying food and actually cooking food. Some hostels have kitchens, you can do that. So, accommodation. I definitely enjoyed meeting new people in those mixed dorms. If you're traveling with a group of friends, go to Airbnbs. They cost less than actually hostels. Do the background search before choosing a place to stay. If it was cheap and had breakfast, then done. I want it. But really, read the comments. That's very important. Security! Bring padlocks with you. Can you see how it has two little things like this? In most bags, you have one on this side and the other one on this side. Or like one here and the other one here. You may put them together and then put a padlock between them. Therefore, no one can open your bag because it's stuck. I felt so much safer with that. Tell your parents and your friends where you're going to be and when. I would write the company of the bus, the bus um, and the time where I'm expected to arrive. So, if I didn't say something to her at the end of the day, she would know something happened to me. There are a lot of scams. Um, in the big cities. I felt so bad to see how many people were being technically robbed. They were giving their money, so not robbed, but they were being tricked um, by fake charities, by gambling games. And how did I save money to do Interrail? You can ask your parents and if they want to give you the money good for you that's amazing if you can do it but I personally worked for this trip it was a project that I wanted to do and my parents didn't have to pay it for me so they didn't so yeah guys I worked for four months to be able to have savings for university and still interrail and it was worth it if you have to go alone go alone you're gonna make friends during this trip believe me like everyone makes friends if you want to do it go do it you're gonna love it